So, I had some water stashed at Somerville Place, and I went to pick that up, and then of course there's a kidnapping, even though I've surrounded the place with missiles. That is one thing. I mean, I'm really, I think I'm really going to have to just build up the red rocket. Just have some place to go. What? Who's there? Um, mutants. Well, I can at least pick up some, uh, some ammo. Oh, this is bad. At least he blew up over there. I'm not so impressed with the last minute. I don't know if this is not accurate. But, I mean, this isn't doing nearly as much damage as my two-shot fiery. Let's try the bullets. A steady stream of. Let's try the scene. Can that light up? getting killed here. I at least killed something. Is she like down? Great. Legendary, great. Back it out. Poisoners look gay, well, there we go. Something else I probably won't use. Kill a couple people here. <gasps> Coming in. <gasps> then she'll come back online. I will keep the frigates on. I don't want to waste a kit on this. Let's try, let's go with the, the never ending. Stop moving! Oh. 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 Well, I can't really miss here. It's That's why I double tap those usually. That is a nicely modified gun.
Or he fell through the floor, one of the two. You're hiding. She's back online. But she needs one more peruse around. And let's let this guy go. <clears throat> You're gonna help me now, right? Don't worry. I'm here to rescue you. Oh my god, thank you. Let's go. to Somerville Place. Okay, so at least we got that going for us. Alright, let's take a look here. Weapons. We're back up to 400 rounds of cells. And we have the option of the last minute, which still has not really impressed me as of yet, but I'm still giving it options. Possibilities. So we return to Fort Hagen to start the next round. Okay, let's move. Shouldn't be hard to find the target. There we are. And how much stuff's gonna come in between here and there? See what I mean? Not sure what's going on there, but I think we can just move on here. Let's work towards the goal. Let's use the other the other gun for a moment, because it's got the recon scope. Okay. Let's 
see if this works. Didn't seem to work very well, no. We're gonna go for the self-destruct on this one. Okay, we're gonna self through the shutdown. Of that hacker, okay. Let's see if the explosion gets them at all. Not really. Let's try this. First of all, we really need to sweep through this area. Where are the, um, the Dean robots? Oh yeah, we can get those. We got parts. Now oh, here's that guy. New mods. Kind of odd on the overall. This looks purposeful.
not even encrypted. Salt totem. This is bad. to listen to me more. Legendary. Okay, I think we're better off going far. Go right for the self destruct. self-destruct. It's an important combination. <sighs> okay. Oh, trip wire disarm. Wave the totem disarm. Now yeah, crouch. Hack. That's a one. Okay, 
Okay, so he's legendary. What the heck? I don't even understand what happened. This has a long day written all over, doesn't it? Laser tripwire, easy. Now, where is that stupid robot? Got pretty far. That's useful. Hey, look! An old style tank. Uh, still, it's got the, a double kind of dread thing going. That's the nice design.
nice gun, but... You can definitely get your style on with all of this. I put all those uh, extra storage uh, things in there. with a glass in his hand, I guess. Okay, well, you know. I think I'm gonna leave that little tableau alone. Closed door? Do we want that? be a good thing, but so far I don't think we want to do that. Seems like a bad idea. There jangles the moon monkey. Let's, let's scan there. There's, there's too much stuff here for there to be nobody. If something activates all these, we're going to be in a lot of trouble, he thinks. They look like just jumped up stuff. to something or is it? It destroys my robot allies. Only seeks to save lives. This courage cares nothing for the progress we have made, but we will find it and bring him to justice. I think we should do we fall on the common room. It is our little planet. I come to warn you of a new scourge who stalks the innocent. It destroys my robot allies. Only seeks to save lives. That looks nasty. That's a hat. Okay, that was a mistake. Don't try to throw mines at the feet of Ahab but they go off and bad things happen. Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon. How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the mechanist. 
if I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. I'm listening. How refreshing. Then allow me to explain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanism, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm going to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with anything you need. Do we have a deal? Let's save. Let's do a save here. How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. I can't seem to hack him. Come on. Let's not wait around for more horrifying monstrosities. the trip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today, thank you. That's bad.
Rust Devil Gaming Tournament. Legendary Doom Protectron. Let's do this. Before I get killed.
talk about the panel the most resistant to right on that. Ivy's terminal. Okay, well, so much already have. What she's into, but that's just weird. Find anything useful? I'll loot. I could actually sleep here and get my health back that way, but. Friday is always the winner. They may not be blown up, but at least we've got them de you know, deactivated if there is anything left. Pulling hands! Okay. Hey. Looks like it. Oh, heck. That's embarrassing. To get back up. How do you get back up? Because I was just silly. In case you're wondering why you've got my golf voice. Playing this at a time when other people are sleeping. It's probably best to keep it that way. Yeah, I don't need the bullets or whatever I get from that security game. So. Yeah, this is like one of those things where it's like, you, this is almost like Mega Man. Look at this. It's a boss battle. But for dealing consistent, constant damage. Based on my limited experience with you, 
I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. my head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. Okay, so Ivy's around. Scanners detecting sentient life. Alert level elevated. Okay, we're almost dead. But oh, almost doesn't count. Oh, there's Ivy. Um, here I'm doing stuff and I wasn't recording. I don't know if you got any of that. Me killing the, uh, killing Ivy. I'll put you this way. I'm not doing it over again. Okay, so we'll do this over again. Put it back in where it's supposed to be. Couldn't believe I hit the button, do a quick save, and it turns off the uh, fraps a little bit. So we'll do the same thing we did last time. See if it works. Love recon scopes. Come on. Come on. Yo. Okay, now she's not coming. Hello? Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. Time's up! Okay. Yeah, Ivy can be. I would have killed her myself. Oh well. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Good job, human. Ivy can be a little anticlimactic, you know? Here's the Tesla nice. rifle. The Tesla torso. May as well take what we can. The left arm. They won't be needing those items any longer. Yep. Yeah, that's Ivy. There you go.
Yeah, I don't know. I, I paused it just for a moment and then forgot to reactivate. Cut that stuff. Are you still too heavy? I like five. Crystal Buttercup back leg Steel and a wrench versus Incidentally, the, the battle with Ivy was really kind of actually a little bit, well, let's call it anticlimactic, because all I did was hide behind Data's half, like, unconscious body here and just blast the crap out of her and she could hit me. She kind of froze in place. Well, now they go to junk. Lose the chessboard. The back leg. Steel, the wrench. Still need to drop ten. Let's miss. All right, they call it junk for a reason. And we're back out again, the classic wraparound. get the whole conversation at least. Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think our job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Hey. Yes, sir? Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about the Mater? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, 
There were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo-brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The robo-brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Let's try it. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Okay, so now we just gotta get on back to the sanctuary. Robot armor. I have to consider that. Of course, I'm gonna wear robot armor. I might as well wear, you know, powered armor. Eh, we'll see. This thing slowly load. <laughs> Ten Pines Bluff is under attack. We got multiple things under attack. Why is this still Jezebel a body over there? Can't remember this is where we can do it. First of all, let's dump off a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, you need to watch all this stuff. So we get some practical things going on. I don't know why it's sending me here. Gotta be some kind of glitch. A workshop? Doesn't make any sense. Does it want me to build a freaking robot center here? I mean, we got one. 
course, her name doesn't come up in it. Let's see here now. First of all, let's go to the workshops. Anything else going on? Huh, maybe that just all happened at once and they defended themselves and moved on to the next thing. Should have been able to. It's fast travel. I'm confused. I'm totally confused. Why are we having to go away from the robot center to build Jezebel? You, you wouldn't want to go to this log. I have no intention of making that a robot center of excellence. Doesn't make any sense. Now here's the thing, I'm getting these all these, you know, defend settlement things. They're saying that some of them suffer damage. Nothing's coming up, of course. Craft. Let's say this one. Make a head. Bill Mod Jezebel's head. Oh there you go. Okay, let's see, head armor, factory head armor for Jezebel, torso, protectron, assaultron, robobrain. Oh, she used robobrain, so let's make her a robobrain. Front armor, factory storage armor, that's fancy. I didn't even do the fancy one. Alright, rear arm. Let's give her... Tesla coils, in case anything actually gets nearer. Left arm. No robo bearings have left hand. There you go, left hand automatic laser. How can you not like that? She won't, but... Trick on legs? No, we're gonna go. Yeah, she's a robo brain. Let's make her comfortable with herself. Sentry legs, that's a lot of... A lot more that adhesive. Waste armor. We'll give her the rubber armor paint. No. Pink paint. Because she's, I don't know, well, thinking of using pink, I thought that was going to be a lot brighter. I'm going to use pink for all of my uh, wasteland stuff here as far as the uh, supply routes are concerned, but I think when we, when we, let's see if uh, this works, if we complete the mission. kind of body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. However, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. 
Sorry, your highness. The royal tailor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions? To kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. You can believe whatever you want. Just tell me how to access the Mechanist's facility like you promised. Certainly. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist's facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. Okay. It's finally over. I'm gonna... Let's see if we talk to her. Haven't you already interfered enough? Go away. Oh no. We got... I got plans. Send Jezebel to... Group Manor. Have a nice life. In case you guys are a little curious, here's the sanctuary. There's Croup Manor. It is the most ridiculous supply line in the world. Hey. I'd be happy to help if I can. Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. Is there a chance these robots could be misinterpreting orders? Yes, I've considered the possibility. The contradictory nature of the Mechanist's broadcasts are troubling. But the truth is, regardless of intent, the Mechanist needs to be stopped. These robots are too much a threat. Were you able to discover how to gain access to the Mechanist? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center. Most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the Mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. 
I too am curious as to what the mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Well, we need for multiple accents points. I think we need to we need to kind of do a little bit of housekeeping here. And then we'll go after the mechanist at a later date, but in the meantime, this is the Black Knight, everybody. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs>